This is the main biological treatment plant of the Chuvash Republic. It's here where sewage is mechanically and biologically treated, disinfected and afterwards discharged into the river. Our plant treats sewage water that comes from two cities, Chibaksari and Novochibaksarsk, as well as from industrial enterprises. The project capacity of our plant is 320,000 cubic meters per day. At present, we treat about 150, 160,000 cubic meters of sewage water per day. Thus, we get about 600 cubic meters of fresh sludge. The fresh sludge is a waste that's formed after multi-stage treatment of urban and industrial sewage water. 2 million tons of sludge in 70 hectares of land. The sludge lagoons are almost full in 50 years of WWTP operation. There is a problem with sludge everywhere, both in big cities and small towns. Sludge is in fact a worldwide problem. I mean, everywhere in the world, all WWTP make great efforts to find the best solution to utilize the sludge. Indeed, that's relevant to all cities and towns, to all water and wastewater treatment plants. Everywhere there is a sludge that shall be finally utilized. Therefore, we propose to turn unwanted waste into something useful. That's our mission. It's a matter of course that the volume of sludge becomes bigger, but we cannot make sludge lagoons bigger. Therefore, the application of this technology has solved our problem. When processing sludge, we reduce its volume 200 times. During sewage water treatment, the sludge produced is mechanically dewatered. The output humidity is 75-77%. But that's not enough. To reduce both humidity and volume, it's necessary to add an advanced process. The patented WAMP technology is based on work in closed circuit with very limited and controlled emissions in atmosphere. Thanks to these safe process conditions, it's possible to feed directly the dewatered sludge inside the dry cylinder without any dangerous back mixing between the dried sludge and the wet sludge. The sludge humidity is reduced from 75 to 0 percent after going through three stages of processing. Drying is the first stage. This equipment uses advanced turbo technology. The internal wall of the drying chamber heated by the thermal oil has a high exchange coefficient with a thin film of dewatered sludge advancing in turbulence conditions. The temperature of our thermal fluid jacket goes from 240 to 290 degrees centigrade. Then the dried sludge goes into the pelletizing unit. After drying sludge process, the dusty dried sludge is pressed and pellets come out. Its calorific value is comparable to brown coal and it burns in an excellent way. One more distinguishing feature is the efficiency of our thermal valorization unit that reaches 85% of efficiency. Sometimes the temperature in the combustion chamber reaches 1000 degrees centigrade. We do not use any other energy sources in this stage of sludge treatment. I mean, we use heat recovered from the combustion of pelletized sludge. During the process of thermal drying, we use thermal oil heated by the enthalpy recovered from the off-gas produced during the combustion of pelletized sludge. Thus, closed-loop technology. During the combustion of pellets, quite a big quantity of heat is released, but not all the heat goes to support the technical process. There is a surplus of heat. Now we are planning to use this surplus to heat our enterprise during winter. This surplus of thermal energy may also be used for electricity production. Also, we could recover 60% of heat that is used in drying process. We could recover it, making hot water, which in its turn could be used for heating urban and industrial facilities. The off-gas produced during combustion is discharged into atmosphere after careful treatment. Thus, there is almost no bad smell. All the combustion process and the off-gas treatment are automatically controlled and monitored on a real-time basis. The process could be operated remotely, even at home. The advantage of operating our systems consists in the fact that they are fully automated. That's why one operator could easily control and operate this plant without any problem from a single point, from one computer. The software is called Forecast. It consists of graphic icons of the plant, and an operator could even instinctively understand what's happening in the equipment. Final product is ashes. They are classified in the fourth hazard class and therefore big sums of environment impact payments would be almost eliminated. 
it's better to remember that we could use ashes in civil works construction activities, for example for the cement fabrication and asphalt. There emerges the possibility to treat the old sludge stored in the lagoons to solve the environmental problem created by it. When we tell about it to people who have never seen such things, we get very proud. We are proud that in our home enterprise there is such a department, such a technology, which has never been used nowhere around. More than 700 drying plants are already in operation all over the world. In Russia, the Italian technology is used in Sochi and Yekaterinburg. But Novochibokhsarsk is the first Russian city where the whole cycle of thermal valorization has been commissioned and successfully started up. VOM mission is to help the current generation to create the best conditions for the next generation exactly by protecting the environment to make it possible for the next generation to enjoy life as we do it now. VOM company does not just supply high-tech equipment, but solves long-term problems of its partners.